Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, my husband Darius and I are in Duluth, Minnesota to see the beautiful um, fall leaves. Right now we are at Stony Point for our first location. another shack seriously right there truck right there shack right there walks right past it and then there's that one this is actually kind of cool it looks open so it's kind of creepy yeah it's open Darius is I don't know, fucking bug. Darius is uh, a get hunted right now so I'm just exploring. So here is a, another view of this shack from the back. It's a rainy foggy day. This is my husband looking for agates. Once was calm is now uh, not so calm. I don't know what the river's water's doing over there. You can kind of tell like the darker and lighter spots and dark in patches. It's starting to, uh, like the rain's starting to really come down. So I want to start hanging out and go to our other locations that we have for today. This thing is tall. Very, very slippery rocks since it has been raining all day here. Thankfully, stopped a little, um, kind of stopped a little bit so we can explore. Oh, that's so freaking pretty. I've been seeing this bridge so many times on Instagram and every time I come up here, I try to find it, but I can never ever find it. <sighs> Can't really get. But until today, I finally found it. <sighs> so I kind of lost my husband, and I have nothing to uh, record me taking pictures. But I'm going to add like all the pictures I feel like it's a must see of this place. It's wet, so it's difficult to find that perfect spot. Uh, without falling into water like I've kind of um, already have fallen into the little stream. I was on a rock kneeling and I just slid off the rock. I'm looking at this right now and it's beautiful. Well, the rain is back. You probably can't hear it from the little tiny Rapids, but uh, fog is coming back. So is the rain. Just and I should start heading back to the truck. Got some cool pictures of over here. Oh wow! Can you tell how foggy it is over here now? Like, look at that fog. Okay. Wow. Can we just take a short moment to talk about um fog? Darius is a uh, egg hunting on the side of the road, and you can just see how uh, foggy it's getting up here from how it was before. But you can just see the fog colors just popping out against the fog. We picked a lucky day come here, and we weren't even going to come here until Darius said, "Let's go to Duluth." We seriously got super lucky. Since um, when we're at these locations, I don't want to spend too much time outside. 
due to the rain and also I don't want my camera wet even though I do have a coverage over it but still just, just in case so I'm going to do these little talking bits inside the truck so I'm not sure if other states have a website like this if they do please let me know and those headlights all you can see right now are headlights you can't even see the vehicle it's crazy how dense this fog is um, but anyways, so Minnesota has this website where you can see the fall, how like, the progress of fall leaves in all over the state. So I- It's the DNR website. So if you guys have something like that for your state, please let me know. But I also post, every time there's a big like change, I always post a picture of it on my Instagram story, on my photography account, and my personal account on Instagram too. Because it's kind of fun looking back and see how much how fast Minnesota's leaves are changing or how slow it's changing. And this year is pretty fast. Like we're pretty much in peak in the North Shore and I've never seen it in peak this fast. This is what we're seeing right now. So you guys can have a great idea of how dense this fog is. This brings me back to last year when Darius and I came up north for the weekend and this is how bad the fog looks last year too. I'll post some pictures I took on my camera of this overlook we went to. But we're supposed to be going and getting up to an overlook up here somewhere. It's only five minutes away from that bridge. That? Oh, is this the overlook? I'm pretty sure this is the overlook because... Oh, jeez, vehicle. Well, that's a nice overlook. Absolutely amazing view. You can see everything from up here. You can see all the leaf change. You can see the highway. Or is it I'm saying that so I can hear a motorcycle or something. Why is there a, like a car seat right there? Not like a, like a car seat, but like an actual bench seat That's for a not car. creepy at all. No, like, Okay. But uh, yeah. Just gonna send it. Best view ever. Like, I can't tell you guys how beautiful this these leaf change colors are. Except for the fact that there's nothing to look at. <laughs> it's great. It's kind of looks creepy but cool at the same time. I'm sorry I'm not getting much um, footage of us like actually at these locations. It's kind of difficult with the rain and then the fog and deer's wanting to egg hunt and some parts are very slippery, so I can't really film as we're walking. Cause we stopped at the little um, like trailway. Get some cool pictures from the, just the parking lot. So right now we are going to go to our last location of the day, which is Condon Park. There's a waterfall there and it's really pretty. I'll, post, I'll show some pictures of it. We're only going to go for the bridges and then just for the follies and the fog and then we're going to head out. I just thought of this and I'm curious about what you guys think of what you would want to see on my, view, on my videos. Instead of posting the pictures like throughout the video of each location, would you rather I post them all at the end of the video or continue posting them throughout the video like I have been? Or should I try it out for a couple videos, see how I like it, how you guys like it? And if we don't like it, then go back to it. Oh, we're back at the bridge that we just were at. Right now, you could typically see Wisconsin. You could typically see the Duluth Lift Bridge. You could also see some um, buildings, lots of buildings and houses, and Lake Superior. Now, you can't see shit. See, now you can start seeing a little bit. Oops. You can see this, uh, yeah, it's definitely clearing up down here.
this darn tree is blocking my picture. So this is the picture I want from is right here. And that tree is in the way. If it was not raining, this would be a perfect long exposure because of that like that little waterfallish kind of thing over there. Hey babe, do you think you can move that tree so it's not laying like that? Oh, tree's coming my way. Tree's coming my way. Up. This amazing man right here got me my picture by grabbing the tree, moving it so I could stand right where the tree is right now, and I got my picture. So I noticed up here that downtown Duluth, like more towards like in the city, is still really green. Make sure my camera's covered. But the more you go up into the hills, or the further you get from Duluth, the less green you see. So we pulled into Duluth, I'm like worried because there's like still a lot of green but it's only where the buildings and the houses are but again the further you get from Duluth or the higher you get the less green there is so I thought they were like the website was wrong but oh it's not peak you know it's no way but really if you go to certain areas in Duluth it is peak I would think this time next weekend maybe there will be either a lot less leaves or barely any leaves at all kind of want to show you guys how close this is to the parking lot, not parking lot, so where we parked. So right there's the bridges, up these stone steps. In a future video, most likely next year, I'll do like a video of this entire place because it's a really beautiful location. But we just want to start heading home. Oof, these stairs are really slippery. But thankfully, everywhere we've gone, there's been nobody. So we got lucky. Boys, so you can see the ride right there, that's the truck. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our mini day trip to Duluth for peak colors. So it was like a really like it's a hit and a miss in a way. Hit, these places we went to are for colors and stuff is really pretty and the fog is beautiful as well. But miss for that we were supposed to go to more overlooks, but since it's so foggy, we couldn't. But there'll be more fall videos coming since um, the Twin Cities area isn't even close to hitting peak yet. It's only 10 to 25% of leaf change. So we will see you guys in more fall videos. Let me know what you think of the pictures in today's video. Thank you guys for so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next one.